so I'm going to do another ASMR whisper video. Some people in the comments, maybe two of you or three of you, have requested more, so I will continue to do these. This one is going to be another ramble about my day, maybe some plans for the weekend, which is starting tomorrow, yay. Um, I have more of these um, queued to ready to be posted within the next week or two, so a couple more of these are going to be coming out. This one is going to be posted tonight. Um, so my day was pretty good. Um, I want to, after I record this, end the day uh, with a movie. I'm going to watch the movie Eyes Wide Shut if I can find it. Um, I haven't seen it before. Um, I heard it's supposed to be good, so I'm going to check that out. Um, now, the start of my day had a little bit of drama, a little bit of negativity, so I'm going to start off there, but after that gets uh, finished with, I actually had a very productive and nice day. Um, it was quite sunny. Um, I went to the gym, all kinds of things, but anyways, uh, the start to the day, um, I have my second job where I do a little bit of cleaning and then I mow the lawn and I do the yard work and I really like mowing the lawn. Um, it's something I've always kind of enjoyed doing. I get on the ride mower like and just kind of zone out almost. Um, had a complaint by kind of like a Karen um, resident, an older guy, grumpy guy. And that's how I started my day and after, after that it was good but um, I don't know exactly what this guy's problem is but he's kind of been like meat mugging me and staring me down for like two months now and I kind of say hello to him and he doesn't say hello back I think he said hello back like one time and I think we might add some small talk one time as well um, and he seems to be a little bit chatty with one of the residents. He kind of gets up on his walker and he kind of goes around uh, the perimeter of the building and then he goes back. But he seems to be kind of grumpy, maybe a little bit in like cognitive, cognitive decline. Um, but anyways, I'm not like harassing him by saying hello. I'm just saying like hello, like it's when you pass somebody you say hey, how are you, or nice day, or whatever. But anyways, so I said hey to him, and he didn't say it back, he just kind of stared me down. And then I kind of was just looking back at him, and I just said hello again, and then he just said you're doing a lousy job on the lawn. And like, then he stormed away. Well, not really stormed away, because he has like one of those walkers, but he was just fucking like, beaking me off, like talking shit. And, like, I just, my, I got angry, I didn't visibly get angry, but, like, underneath, like, in my inside, like, my emotions, like, I just wanted to tee off on this guy, like, I wanted to give him, like, the Conor McGregor treatment, like, I don't know if you follow UFC, you see Conor McGregor, he punched that, like, 65-year-old man in the bar in the back of the head or whatever, that's all I wanted to do to this guy in a moment, but I, I remained remain calm, obviously, mature and professional, and I didn't, you don't want to give them the satisfaction of showing you, them that you're bothered by it either, and, but he's always kind of given me that, like, I don't want you around me vibe kind of thing, and thinking back, there is a park across the street from this job that I'm doing the lawns, and I think he this might have actually been the guy that threatened my dog one time. Like, when my dog was alive, I used to play frisbee and soccer with my dog in these, like, sports fields. And to give him credit, you're not supposed to have the dogs off leash, but everyone does. They're behaved. It's kind of like a gray area. Like, I just kick the ball, and, like, no one complains, but this guy complained. And once again, like, you're not supposed to have the dogs off leash in that area, so... He was right in this, but he's like, if that dog comes near me, I want to snap his neck. And I actually think it's this guy, which is crazy. So maybe he remembers me from that and that, but I don't think so. And I don't, I'm not 100% sure if he is that guy, but anyways, 
that's how my day started. Kind of crappy, put me in a bit of a mood, but then you can't let two seconds ruin 24 hours. That's kind of my, I, I don't know where I heard that from. It might have been Eckhart Tolle or one of those guys, like the, the mindfulness guys on YouTube that write books all the time and they kind of do that whole meditation thing. He might have said that, someone did. And I kind of repeated that in my head for a little bit. Um, got on the lawnmower. And the first time, I this is the third time I've done this lawn. Um, well, there's like four lawns. But um, the first two times I had to do it on a very high setting with the blade. I had to do it like on a, a six setting, which is the top one. Because it was really long and wet. And the boss knew about this that the lawnmower is not great he said well if it gets too long it's not going to cut so i had to use the top blade and i just kind of went over it didn't look the best the second time i cut it one notch lower looked a bit better this time looked great um so i had this one on like maybe a four setting with the with the front lawn on a three setting i picked up the pine cones before so they didn't get hit by the blade and then the pine cone just flies and maybe hit somebody I, so I picked up all the pine cones first I did the lawn um, I think the ride mower because it's so slow it took maybe an hour and a half but it's relatively big yard um, and then after that I did the whipper snipping on the edge where the ride mower can't get um, and then I did the leaf blower and I blew off all the sidewalks of the leaves and then the grass that I just cut obviously the blades of grass goes on the sidewalk and you have to blow those back onto the lawn so that was pretty nice so I got some hours there I got paid today paycheck yay Cash, cash my paycheck I got a steak after work sick that was dope I always like getting a steak after work I don't know if everyone listening is a steak eater, a meat eater, if you're vegetarian, vegan, that's fine. But I like my steak sandwich after work um, on my lawn days. It makes me feel good. I had a cigar. made me feel great. I had a sparkling water, a coconut water, watermelon flavor. It's watermelon juice and sparkling coconut water. I felt like a king with that water, man. I uh, put some creatine in it well no i had creatine later in the day but sometimes i put creatine in it um so yeah that was really good that was amazing I, i'm actually probably gonna have another one because i bought four yay for payday um so after i did the work and the food i came home i showered um then i went to the gym it was a leg day. It was kind of like it just going through the motions type leg day. It wasn't like anything fancy. I did some leg press, some hamstring curls. I did some calf raises. I did some reverse squats. I did some glute raises. I did some like um, hip uh, flexor kind of accessory movements, um, that kind of thing. There was a lady that was having trouble on the punching bag, getting it to stand still. It's kind of in this awkward place in the gym. She had her, like, mom hold it for her. Not her mom, but maybe, like, just an older friend. Um, so that was pretty good, too. It was not the best bump. I wasn't really sweating or, like, heavy breath. But, like, my heart was a little bit elevated, and I was... I was active. It was just kind of the basic kind of, like, after work just a little bit add on. I was kind of doing lunches at work, kind of picking up these pine cones and everything. Um, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. <laughs> My bad. Um, so then after the gym, um, I did a little bit of a nature walk um, and a little bit of a grocery shop. I think I picked up uh, kefir, which is good for your microbiome. It's uh, fermented milk. It has uh, probiotics and all that stuff. Um, and 
then I got some ice cream. I already ate it. Um, that just, that ice cream just evaporated into thin air as soon as I got home. Um, I'm gonna have lasagna tomorrow. I'm gonna have noodles tonight. So I got some groceries. Good. Once again, payday. Sweet. Um, then what did I do? Well, I came home. Um, I read for a little bit. I listened to, like, this lecture. Well, not a lecture. Sometimes I do, but this one was an audiobook. I wasn't really penetrating it. Like, I was kind of just zoned out, so I turned it off. Um, I think that takes us to now, but I feel like I am missing something. Um, but I, I think that pretty much takes it to now. I think I did the dishes, or that might have been yesterday, but... Yeah, so it was a pretty good day. Um, it was just boom, 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 boom. One thing after the other. I was out pretty much all day. Um, and now I'm looking to wind down. I'm going to watch this movie. Um, what am I going to do tomorrow is a good question. Um, I know next Friday I have to do my boss's at my boss at the other job. His shift. His morning shift. Actually, no. That's not two weeks so I have both this Friday and next Friday off, which is sweet. And tomorrow is going to be my payday from my other job, which is double sweet. So I just got two paydays, and I have two three-day weekends. So that is really cool. So I figure I'm going to probably go out and do some kind of hike somewhere. I have like two or three parks locally that I usually go to. They're kind of my going through the motion parks where I just get out, I clear my mind, and I I typically like a park with a river or a creek. Um, rivers are sometimes better because they don't attract as many mosquitoes. Um, maybe do some nature shorts for this channel if I see something interesting. Usually, like, if it's, like, a centipede or, like, a hummingbird or, like, some kind of weird insect or, like, uh, maybe, like, if I see, like, some kind of deer or a raccoon, I usually film the, these kinds of things and put them on the channel. So, I guess to kind of sum up my day is it's good I didn't let that first little scenario incident about this grumpy guy ruin the day because it was just two seconds you can't let two seconds ruin 24 hours you can't do that you can't let them win you can't let them get in your head there's people that are just miserable and they want to make other people miserable and you can't you can't um let them win um unfortunately if enough of them hang up together and they care in you so hard to the management they could get you fired but I mean I'm not even worried about that because if that if that happens then it's just meant to be that way um sometimes I mean you gotta it's weird you can it's easier to fool someone than to um show them that they're fooled like I could like this guy was like thinking that I wasn't doing a good job but like I could prove it to him I can't prove to him that I'm doing a good job I mean it's just his opinion of me. It's how he sees me. And I don't know if that's even, like, the kind of... Like, I don't even know if that's what he was doing or if he was just kind of saying that I wasn't doing a good job just to kind of throw shit at me, like, negativity. But anyways, right now, I think I'm going to wrap up this video. Um, if someone fell asleep by now, that's pretty cool. If they're using it for sleep, if it's just kind of you want to hear someone's story about their day in like a low volume, then hopefully I re retained an audience through most of this. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to watch that movie now. I might even post a movie review of it tomorrow. That might be interesting. Like, I could either, I could either do a talking normal vo voice or I could do an ASMR whisper review of the video. I mean, not video, a uh, movie. Um, if you made it this far, tell me what you'd prefer me to do. If you haven't, I I don't know. I'll just decide which it's going to be. Um, I think I will like the movie because I saw a clip on Instagram. It looks pretty interesting. It almost looks like um, 
Squid Game. Like it looked like the rich people in the masks at this fancy ball and they're all scary looking. Um, Squid Game was really nice. I don't know if everyone's seen that. Um, it was on Netflix a while ago. I don't know if they took it down. Korean film, not film, um, series, but a short series, a short limited series. I think it was one season, maybe nine episodes. So it was basically a film, a long film that was cut up into like episodes, basically. Um, I recommend that to anyone who hasn't seen it. Squid Game was actually really good. Um, you are definitely behind if you haven't seen it yet. And if you're like a Netflix person, because that was like a three year ago thing, but better late than never. Um, so as always, I want to wish everybody the best week that they can have is what they should be having. Um, don't stress too much. Relax. Take time for yourself. Um, hopefully everybody's where they want to be. And if not, you'll get there eventually. And just relax right now. And you're good as you are, how you are, where you are. Just let this moment be this moment. And don't 